Welcome dear children. Today through this video we are going to study about crops. The different kinds of crops and stages of crop production. Now what are crops? Plants that are grown in large area to obtain food or other useful products are called crops. Different crops require different climate, soil and amount of water to grow well. For example, rice grows best in clay soil with plenty of water and warmth, whereas wheat needs well-drained soil. Jowar and bajra grow well in sandy soil. Cotton needs black soil and coconuts grow in sandy soil near the sea coast. The process of growing crop is known as cultivation. Different kinds of crops grow in different seasons. The crops that grow in summer season are called kharif crops, whereas the crops that grow in winter season are called rabi crops. Kharif crops are usually sown with the advent of monsoon season, that is the beginning of first rains in June. And they are harvested at the end of monsoon season, that is October or November. Some examples of kharif crops are rice, maize, jute, cotton and peanut. Rabi crops are known as winter crops. They are usually sown at the end of monsoon season, that is October or November. And they are harvested before the start of summer season, that is in spring season in April. Some examples of rabi crops are wheat, barley, gram and mustard. Crop production is a branch of agriculture that deals with growing crops for use as food and fiber. Large tea uh, plantations, coffee plantations and rubber plantations are also found in India. And fruits and vegetables are also grown in plenty. There are large fruit orchards in Himachal Pradesh, Kashmir and Uttar Pradesh. Now children, let us understand the different stages of crop production. The first stage of crop production is plowing. Before sowing the seeds in the field, first the soil is prepared. It is overturned or flipped over to mix well and aerate. After plowing, good quality and healthy seeds are sown. Precautions should be taken during seed selection. The seeds should be disease resistant and should have high germinating capacity. Also, if the germinating period is shorter, it is better. Seeds require nutrients for proper growth. Nutrient-rich soil increases productivity. Fertilizers are added to the soil to make it rich in nutrients. Two types of fertilizers are used, namely manures and chemical fertilizers. Manures are natural fertilizers made from cow dung and dead and decaying plants and animals. On the other hand, chemical fertilizers are man-made fertilizer like urea. Excess of fertilizers may harm the soil and the crop. Next stage in crop production is irrigation. Irrigation means watering the crop. After seed germination and growth of young plants, the field should be irrigated properly. The methods of irrigation generally used are sprinkler irrigation, drip irrigation, furrow irrigation, and surface irrigation. As young saplings start growing into bigger plants, grazing animals can enter the field and destroy the crop. Putting a fence around the field can protect the crop. The crop is protected from birds by putting bird netting or bird scare scarer. Pests like rats and moles and insects like locusts and grasshoppers may also destroy the crop. Therefore, pesticides and insecticides are sprayed over the crop to protect them from these pests. 
the last stage of crop production is harvesting, storing and transportation of the crops. When the crops ripen, the farmer cuts it. This is called harvesting. The harvested crop is then stored safely in go-downs and sold later. Grains like cereals and pulses, which are non-perishable, can be stored for a longer time. The stored crops need to be protected from moisture, rats, birds and insects. Crop like fruits and vegetables are perishable, so they have to be transported quickly. So children, this was all regarding crops. I hope this is clear to you now. Thank you for watching.